Ivodi Nyurorema is not an environmental activist, but upgrading his motorcycle taxi to an electric one made him a champion of Rwanda's fight against climate change. He now visits this garage in the capital, Kigali, regularly to recharge his batteries. The reason I switched to an electric motorbike is because I wanted to avoid fuel costs, which are always rising, and also the costs of going to the garage all the time. With an electric motorbike, I don't have to make as many trips to the garage. The firm responsible for revamping his bike, Rwanda Electric Motors, has converted around 80 motorcycle taxis. It has also developed 200 brand new electric bikes in Kigali. For CEO Donald Kabanda, the long-term affordability of electric vehicles makes the switch a no-brainer. One battery can cover up to 60 kilometers and it, is, it costs 900 francs. And if you compare it with one liter of, uh, of petrol that, is, that costs above 1,000 francs, it covers only 35 kilometers. So if you compare economically, they, there is an advantage for the riders. While the project has clear economic incentives, electric vehicles are environmentally friendly. The bikes help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Rwanda's government and the UN jointly fund the revamping in a bid to reduce local carbon dioxide emissions by 16% by 2030. Last year, authorities dropped import taxes on electric and hybrid vehicles, but they are too expensive for most people here. Green motorbike taxis, the main public transport in Kigali, may be a better alternative.